Is anyone really still on Twitter anymore, especially with the unshitification of that platform? I've, um, recently, I wouldn't say came back to Twitter, but while I was at DEF CON, there were a few villages that made their alerts uh, and stuff over Twitter, so I at least made a temporary Twitter account while I was at DEF CON, and I'm still monitoring a couple of those villages because there's still some competitions and things like that going on that I at least want to keep an eye on, and what I found interesting is that I'm only following a couple of those accounts and it keeps feeding me BS that I'm not following or not really interested in um, seeing. So I go to my notifications here. Um, here, I'll, I'll just show you. Almost all of these are from accounts and stuff I really don't care about. I didn't want to follow them. They were just pushed my way. And what's interesting is all of them are quote-unquote verified accounts from what I've seen except for maybe the one news site there um, yeah a news site for Montgomery Alabama never even been to Alabama maybe I've driven through on the way to Texas right I, I really am just kind of lacking on geography right now I have not been on Twitter for about a year now. I haven't seen the need to return to that platform. Um, it wasn't that great of a platform even before Elon Musk bought it. It was kind of already just swirling the toilet. And then when Elon Musk bought it, he basically just went flush. Um, it's been an absolute nightmare. And this little experience of making my account at DEF CON which is only a few weeks old, getting shoved content I particularly don't care about in my notifications. Because, like, I, I set this account to notify me and bypass my um, uh, uh, Do Not Disturb settings just so that I could get the alerts on these couple accounts for CTFs and things that were coming available that I'm waiting for. And I'm getting alerted on the X app on my Apple Watch about things I didn't say I want to be notified for. Are they really that desperate to get interaction that they're forcing people to get notifications from things that they don't care about? And the honest truth is, I've never really gotten that much interaction with Twitter even when I was more active. Most of the interaction that I got there were related to adult content bots. Is that the correct way I can say that on this platform? I'm sorry, I'm not used to the YouTube rules yet. YouTube or overlords, please forgive me. But anyway, I've had a far better time on Mastodon and the entire Fediverse there. I know some people are like, what's that? Or some of you are like, oh, you're really on that? Yes, I really am. My Mastodon gets interactions on it every single day. My Twitch actually posts uh, with a bot that I've created from a Raspberry Pi to my Mastodon server without fail when I'm live on Twitch. And then in comparison, Twitter yanked my API access, which is what originally made me throw the towel in. They yanked my free API access, then they wanted to make me pay for it. They kind of backpedaled a little bit. There is a free API plan, but then it kind of just was like, I'm going to have to go reapply for an API which already took me a while to like pull teeth basically to get the API. And like I said, when I had my Twitter, it wouldn't even notify my followers in a timely manner. So I would say post, hey, I'm live on Twitch. And then I would get a like or a response maybe several days later. Whereas Mastodon, it's happening very quickly. And I can also federate and control the content a lot better so I can associate with the servers and individuals that I would actually want to, as well as, you know, don't want to, rather easy. So I have a lot more control over there. And I think overall, the federated um, space, Fediverse, is going to be more of the approach that things are going to be taking because Threads actually has Fediverse support. It's in beta right now. You can go to Threads and it actually federates through threads.net. So I can actually follow a lot of accounts on Mastodon uh, that are on Threads. And I can also access a lot of different other different platforms out there. I mean, there's um, we're, we're going to get more into this, but there's like loops that's coming out, which is a TikTok equivalent that's federated. Um, you have Pixel Fed, which is like Instagram. You have um, Lemmy and Cabin, which are like Reddit. Um, 
and WordPress can even have an activity pub integration. This is all powered by activity pub, just so you're clear. Um, and again, we're going to go more into this on a uh, post dedicated about the Fediverse and Mastodon. But overall, I think social media as we know it is kind of getting old and tired. And a lot of people aren't really that interested in social media anymore. You're seeing an overall downtrend in that. But um, it was interesting to see DEFCON.social as well as, um, I mean, that DEFCON.social is the DEFCON official um, Mastodon server uh, open up and they started pushing for that more. And I've been seeing a lot of the cybersecurity and information security community move over to Mastodon and other similar um, federated platforms like MISKI and Mastodon and um, you name it. Um, I don't really see Twitter returning to the way that it was. And I think centralized platforms were kind of going full circle. In the 90s and early 2000s, um, things were decentralized. It was more that you had to know where to go. You would go on this site to do that. You talk on IRC servers. You talk on, you know, um, different things. And then centralized media came about because a lot of us didn't have the bandwidth to really host a lot of the things properly that we wanted. And then now we have the bandwidth that we need and we have an abundant of processing power and resources that anyone can spin up their own mastodon server or stuff in their backyard and then let people join their server and connect in but we're going to be talking more about that in a different video but i do find it interesting that twitter is really pushing content nobody cares to their notifications and it's really just cementing the whole point of why i left twitter a long time ago and i don't understand why a lot of people are still on twitter other than you just have audiences that you're desperate to hold on to but twitter is just kind of this cesspool that's getting worse and worse and worse i don't really see it recovering at least not anytime soon all right but this has been my rant so hopefully i'll see you around if you like this video please like and subscribe and also check out all my other social media such as Mastodon, which we just talked about, and I'm also on PixelFed, and then we also have Discord, and Matrix, and TikTok, and, of course, this YouTube channel. Stay safe out there, people.